everyone, so we are here with yet another installment of Harriet's hair process and today is the day that I actually finished her hair. It took me three sittings to do her hair and I'm so happy with how it looks. Like, I'm just so glad that I chose to do it this way. So what you can see me doing right now is just filling in the top of her head with that same combo that we were um, looking at in the last video of the Silk Effects Dark Blonde and the Silk Effects Auburn. So I'm just doing what I was doing last time in this clip here but obviously in a different spot. Um, I like to leave the hair on top kind of a little bit longer than on the sides and um, it's just personal preference but um, I also like to do it just ever so slightly thicker on top as well I just feel like that's more natural um, and leaving the sides a little bit thinner actually helps when um, the hair is not wet and it's sticking up everywhere um, but it also is a very long process and um, whilst it doesn't look like it's a big section it ends up feeling like it's dragging forever just to finish one section so um, I normally hate doing the top of the heads but at the same time I'm spurred on because I know the end is near so um, as you see I'm just chopping off those extra pieces to the auburn here and then I was finishing off the um, the dark shades um, or the thicker areas in this clip here um, and I was starting to get quite excited at this point because I could see what I was trying to achieve with Harriet was working. So um, if you didn't watch last video um, in the series, I mentioned that I added in the auburn because when I was a baby my hair changed colour. I was actually born with red hair and went to a honey blonde, uh, honey strawberry blonde shade. But with Harriet I'm going the opposite way so I want her to be um, blonde first and then be going to that honey shade and it worked out so so nice um, my aunt was here actually today and she mentioned that um, it looked exactly like my hair color at one point when I was a baby so I was very very happy about that and I hadn't actually mentioned to her that's what my intention was so um, yay so um, I'm just doing the blonde hairs in the front now and um, it went very very fast from this point out to finish her off though I felt as though I did go a little bit too thick in the front hairs um, uh, blonde's a very difficult one to work with sometimes I feel like there's not enough hair there because you can't see it all the time so I keep plugging it in and it's like oops you know there's a bit too much there now but um, overall I'm really happy with how it turned out um, the style is exactly what I wanted, though the hairs in the front, um, I wish I hadn't have cut them as short as I have. Well, I didn't really cut them that short, but um, her hairline um, in the front does um, cause me a bit of an issue. Her hair has a bit of a wave to it or a curl to it, so the hairline in the front was too long and thick, so I chopped it back a little bit, um, granted a little bit off camera as you can see here, and now it's all curly in the front, so it's just like, ugh, oh, curls up a little bit, but other than that, it's perfect, I just love it so much. Um, I've done her lashes following um, Jackie Ortiz's um, tutorial. And um, I would be doing an update on that in the next video. And I think it will be the last video of the series as well. So I do hope that you have enjoyed seeing this. Um, and I'm really, really happy with how her hair has turned out. Uh, if you want to see photos of her currently on um, Instagram or Facebook, please check them out. The links are below. Uh, until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.